Hello, my name is Kishwani. This K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 137. Day Day 3137, three, the three is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition, third edition, day 137, we are on page number 358, in the process of solving problems that you will find in the practice test, practice test number one, on 358. On 358, there is a chart that is given there, a graph that is given there. I'm going to reproduce it on the blackboard. I could have done it ahead of time, but I think it's better that we reproduce it together and then we'll answer the question. There are four questions based on that chart, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We'll have to answer those four questions. It will take some time to reproduce it, but I think we'll learn something out of it. Let's, let's, let's begin. So we have coffee here. We have coffee. And we have four types of coffees. We have decaffeinated coffee. We have what they call percolated coffee. We have what they are calling as brewed coffee. And finally, instant coffee. It is very important. It is vital. It is essential. It is absolutely crucial that you open the book, turn to the page, and look at the problem in the book. Do not depend on what I put in the blackboard there, as I have told you, and as I tell you in every single video. You must have the book in front of you. Page number 358. So that's the first category. Then we have what what they are calling other drinks, and under other drinks we have I have BT here, brewed tea, instant tea, cocoa, and soft drink. Brewed tea, instant tea, cocoa, and soft drink. And then we have third category, which is for drugs. And then the drugs we have, the drugs that deal with weight loss, all of these things that you see here, 11, 11 category, we are measuring the amount of caffeine in them. That's all it is, we are measuring caffeine. This bar, this graph that we're going to put on the, on the, on the, on the blackboard is going to show us how much caffeine each, or each one of these things have from the least to the most, the range of each of, each of them. So we have Drugs dealing with weight loss, that's W and then L, weight loss, weight loss. Then we have drugs that deal with pain relieving, it relieve, they relieve pain. And finally we have third one, which are deal, which deal with either allergy, A I know is allergy and cold, cold and allergy. Let's get going, shall we? And if you look at the X axis, it goes all the way up to 200. It goes all the way up to 200. So let's do that very quickly here. So here is a, let's put it here. Half a mark is here. Let's divide that into half. Let's divide this into half. Let's divide this into half. Let's divide this into half, a half and half. I think this is about the best as we can do. So it, now we have eight, eight spots and each one of them is 25. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175 and 200. Follow. Let's get going, shall we? So, if you have the book in front of you, you will follow me what I'm doing here. So, the first we have decaffeinated coffee. Well, let's, let's put the markers here first. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. Okay, let's get going, shall we? First, let's put it in a different color now. First, we have decaffeinated coffee, and because it's decaffeinated, and since we're measuring caffeine in each one of these uh, uh, categories, decaffeinated coffee, ca coffee by definition will have very little caffeine, and it goes about 
would say about up to here. It looks like, to me, it looks like about 10. It starts from 0 obviously and goes up to 10. Approximately. There is no way of knowing for sure. The next one, let's keep, let's keep going. Next one starts somewhere in the middle. Oh, it starts between 25 and 50. You see, I almost made a mistake. It starts somewhere between 25 and 50 and goes all the way up to almost to 175, which is going to be right here. 175 is right here, so it's almost up to there. Not quite touching it. Next one is BC, brewed coffee. Brewed coffee goes, starts between 50 and 75. Let's put them here, 25, uh, 50, 75, between 50 and 75 it starts and it goes all the way up to more than 175, little more than 175. The next one is instant coffee and instant coffee starts with little over 25 and goes all the way up to little under 125. So this is 100, 125, little under it. Those are done. Those are done. Let's move on to the next one. Then we have other beverages and the first one is list, first one that is listed is brew tea. Brew tea starts with again somewhere in the middle here and goes between 100 and 125. Between 100 and 125. The next one we have is instant tea which goes from 25 to 50 looks like it. Then we have just C. What does C stand for? Cocoa. And cocoa is somewhere between here and here it stays there in this thing. Then we have Soft drink and soft drinks go from little under little over 25, little over 25 to under under 50. Now we got three more to go. Then we have weight loss drug and apparently the drugs that are that are catered for waste uh, for losing weight apparently they have a lot of caffeine and goes from 100 to 200. There is weight loss. There is 100, 100, all the way to 200. Then we have. Pain, pain relief medicine, well, medicine that relieves pain and they have caffeine in them apparently and it goes very close to 25 to 100. And then finally we have drugs that deal with, uh, with uh, cold, cold allergy, cold and allergy, cold and allergy and they go from, from between 25 and right here to here. And that's all we need. Let's answer the question. There are four questions. Now, now that we understand the chart, and we do understand it very well, because we produce it ourselves instead of just simply staring at it, let's answer the question. The first question, number 17, says the least, the least amount of caffeine in brewed coffee exceeds exceeds the greatest amount of caffeine in cocoa by approximately how many milligrams? Um, I didn't write all of them, but by approximately how many milligrams? I was too lazy. How many milligrams? Very simple, very straightforward question. We take our time and we'll find it. So let's look at our chart here and understand the words. It says the least amount, the least, the least amount of caffeine that we find in brewed coffee. BC stands for brewed coffee, which is right here. Well, right here. The least amount. There is a range. If you if you if you're having brewed coffee, apparently it can have as little as between 60, 50 and 75 milligrams in each serving. These are e these are all listing for per serving. And the serving sizes are given at the bottom of the chart. If you read the chart very carefully, it gives you the bottom of the chart the serving size, which you must pay attention to. I did not put everything in the blackboard, which is why I always tell you, make sure you have the book in front of you. So each serving of brewed coffee can have as little as between 50 and 75 milligram, or it can have as, as much as, if this is 125, this must be 150, this must be 175, it could, could, or it could have as much as almost 180 milligram per serving. So the least amount of caffeine in brewed coffee, to me, it looks like between 50 and 75, let's just put down here 62 and a half. Let's just pretend it's right in the middle. And the greatest amount, 
the greatest amount of coffee in cocoa. Cocoa is right here. Cocoa is right here. The greatest amount. Well, that's going to be very little. It's about 20. It's going to be about 20. Right here, it goes from about 5 to 20. So, there you go. So let's find out the answer. We don't have to do anything, actually. It's all done. It's 62 minus 50. It says least amount of caffeine that you find in brewed coffee exceeds the greatest amount of caffeine that... You, oh, the greatest amount, which is, which is 20. You see, the smallest would have been about 5. It exceeds the greatest amount of caffeine in cocoa by approximately how much? Approximately 40. 62 to, 62 to 20 is approximately 40. That's the answer. And that will be answer choice... That will be answer choice D. Answer choice D, as in David. It's not a difficult problem. It's a very straightforward problem. So simple, in fact, that almost 70% of the people had no trouble with it. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Again, we need the room after each problem. So I'm going to keep erasing it because obviously we can't erase that. Let's do the next one. It says, in how many drink in 18, it says, in how many drinks is the amount of caffeine less than 50 milligrams? In how many, in how many drinks? Let me let me read the question properly. Approximately number number eighteen is what we are doing here. It says, I'm going to read it. For how many, for how many of the eleven category of beverages and drugs that are listed in the graph, can the amount of caffeine in the given serving size be can can the can the amount of caffeine be less than fifty milligram? How many of them it can be less than 50 milligrams? Do you understand? The words words are very important. Is it possible for the amount of caffeine in the first category to be less than 50 milligrams? The answer is yes. It can be as little as right here. We said it between 25 and 50. Is it possible for the amount of caffeine to be less than 50 milligrams in the next one? The answer is no. In the next one it is no because the 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 smallest amount that you can find per serving is more than 50. The fact that this one goes all the way from here to here, that's not the point. But the point here is that it is possible to find percolated coffee where the amount of caffeine per serving is going to be less than 50 milligrams. That's the question here. There is another one, instant coffee, it is possible because it starts with less than uh, under 50. There is another one, there is another one. Actually, the whole thing here is this thing. There is another one, even the maximum here is less than that. There is another one that's less than 50. There is another one that is less than 50. There is another one less than 50. But this one is not. This one is not. So there are two, only two categories. The quicker way, the quicker way here would be simply to look for the ones where it is impossible to get less than 50 milligram, and just subtract those categories from 11 because there are 11 of them. We didn't have to, we didn't have to do them individually. There are only two of them right here. This one, it is not possible. It is not possible for per, for brewed coffee. It is not possible for one to have less than 50 milligram of caffeine per serving under brewed coffee. The very nature of the beverage is such that even the lightest one, that is the, the smallest amount of caffeine that you can find under brewed, it starts out in more than 50. And same thing with this guy, which is weight loss, weight loss drug. You see, per dosage of weight loss drug, even the one that would advertise as having a minimum amount of caffeine possible will still have 100 milligram of caffeine. So this one does not qualify. This one does not qualify, and there are 11 of them all together. How do I know it? But there are two ways. One is that we can count them, or we, they just tell you in the, in the problem itself. They tell us that for how many of the 11 categories of the beverage that are listed. There are 11 of them right here. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Right there. I, I left it out. So 11 minus 2, 11 minus 2, uh, there, are, there, there, there are 9 such trucks. The answer is there are 9 of them. There are nine such drug, drugs, or rather beverages and drugs, where it is possible to have a dosage 
or a serving where you will have less than 50 milligrams? Answer is nine. 63% of people, 63% of people had no trouble with it. But that also means that almost 40% missed it. Let's look at the next one. It says, it says the minimum amount minimum amount of caffeine measured in milligram obviously consumed per day by someone who has two two cups of percolary coffee and one soda. One soda. One soda being the soft drinks. You understand? Every day. So what is the minimum amount of caffeine? What's the minimum amount of caffeine this person will end up consuming every day if he or she consumes two cups of percolary coffee and one soda. Oh, and one soda. So let's do that here. Who, who consumes two cups of percolary coffee and one soda one soft drink. Percolary coffee is right here. And what's the minimum amount of caffeine that they can possibly have? Well this one starts between 25 and 50. 25 and 50 so let's pretend it's 37 and a half. 37 and a half and you're going to have two of them. Plus one soda. Soda soft drink right here. That's your soda soft drink. And the minimum amount you're going to have here it looks to me about 30. It's about 30. 35 times 2, 35 times 2, 32, 35 is 70, 37 and a half times 2 is going to be 75, 75 plus 30 is 105, and if you look at the answer choices, 105, one answer choice that comes closest to it is D, which says 110. And if you were to pick that answer, if you were to pick that answer, you will end up doing exactly what I did, which is being very very careless something that i always tell you not to do i did it myself this answer is wrong this answer is wrong because it says i left out something very important which is why i keep repeating like a parrot every few minutes make sure the book is in front of you what it actually says is that the minimum amount of caffeine consumed per day the minimum amount of caffeine consumed per day by someone who has Two cups of percolated coffee, but but this person consumes. Let me see. Consumes each ten ounces. Each ten ounces. Is it not five ounces? But the chart that is given to us, if you read at the very bottom there, fine print, if you read the fine print, it tells you the serving size and they tell you in the serving size that this is 5 ounce cup. These are 5 ounce cups. But this person prefers to have a bigger cup. He or she, let's, let's stop saying he or she, let's just say she. She likes to have a bigger cup every day and her cup is 10 ounce, is a size of 10 ounce and she has two of those. Consuming two cups of 10 ounce each it's like consuming four cups of five ounce each, which is what we have here. So this is wrong. This assumes this assumes five ounce. So we have to multiply this, this amount that we have here by two. Because, because there are ten ounces. That's the mistake I made, and that's the mistake you don't want to make. Do you understand? This answer was wrong. The answer we had arrived at was wrong. And now we'll have 2 times 75, which is 150. And then 30, 30 from 30 milligram here. And it looks like if you if you are hell bent on having two cups of two cups of uh, PC, whatever that PC was, percolated coffee. If you're hell bent on having two cups of percolated coffee every day, and the cup size is 10 ounces, two 10 ounce cups of coffee, percolated coffee. And one soda, one one soft drink every day, whatever the size of soda, it doesn't matter. 
uh, because they didn't change that. And then it turns out in that case, over the course of the day, every day, you'll end up consuming 180 milligram of caffeine. That's a lot of caffeine. Let's do the last one. So now that's the correct answer. 180 is the correct answer. And which answer choice is 180? Which just was number 19. And the only answer choice that comes closest to 180, which is what we came up with, is 190. And their answer choice is B. Their answer choice is B. Because apparently they did not use 37 and a half, they just used 40. They just used 40 here. They didn't, I, I just simply took the average of 25 and 50. But they're, they're, they're saying that it starts at 40. It's very difficult to tell exactly where it exactly starts from because there are no, well, there, you, you get the idea. Let's do number, and this one, answer is B. And this one, because I, I, apparently I'm not the only one who was uh, care, careless, there are a lot of people who are going to be careless, which is why the percentage drops drastically. Only 40%, only 41% of people, only 41% of people got it right. Almost three-thirds of the people, not three-thirds, that's, that's a stupid thing to say. Almost three-fifths of the people, three-third would be everybody. Almost three-fifths three of the people who took the exam missed it. Almost 60%. Let's do the very last one, number 20. Number 20. It says the average, arranged, rather not average, the arranged. It says arrange, arrange the four, four types of coffees from the least range to the greatest range. In other words, we have to observe the ranges of these four coffees and arrange the ranges. Do you understand? Not the minimum amount that we find in each one of them, not the maximum. We are not, they're not being, they're, we're not being asked to arrange them by the maximum amount that we find in each of these coffee or by the minimum amount that we find in each of these coffee, but by the range. So let's find out, shall we? That shouldn't take that long. That shouldn't, that shouldn't be too bad. So here are the four coffees. Very right here. Decaffeinated coffee. De de decaffeinated coffee, the range is very small as you can see. It starts at about zero and goes up to about ten. So it goes from zero to ten, which is ten. Which is 10. Let's, let's not put it way over there. Decaffeinated coffee, it goes from 0 to 10, which is going to give us 10. Then we have percolated coffee, very quickly. Percolated coffee. Percolated coffee, as we, as we said, as we already had the discussion, it starts from about 37 and a half, but apparently they are using 40, as we found out. So let's just say 40 to from 40 to, looks to me like about 170. That's going to be 130. The range, the range is 130. 170 minus 40, you understand? The next one is brewed coffee. What's going to be the range of brewed coffee? It starts at about 60, all the way up to 175. 60, all the way up to 175. 60 to 160 would have been 100, so it's 115. And finally, the instant coffee. It starts at around 30 and goes all the way up to 120. 30 to 120. In case you're curious how I'm coming up with these figures, we just eyeball it. There is no way to get the exact accurate reading for any of these. Because as you look at the chart, that's about the best that we can do. Getting a precise reading is impossible. 120 minus 120 minus 30 would be 90. That's it, we're done. So we have to arrange them from least to greatest. The smallest one is decaffeinated coffee. Then we're going to have instant coffee, because that's 90. Then we're going to have brewed coffee. Brewed coffee, the range for brewed coffee is 115. And the one with the, the greatest range, one with the greatest range, is this guy right here, which is percolated coffee. The range is 130. Apparently, all percolated coffees are uh, all co percolated coffee is not created equal. It depends on which kind of percolated coffee you have, and it will change the caffeine, the amount of caffeine per serving a great deal. All the way from 30 to 120, you can have, or rather, all the way from 40 
to 170. I was going to say you can have as much as three times or four, four times rather. That's exactly what it is. You can have as much as much as four times the amount of caffeine under the category of percolated coffee, depending on which kind you get. But that's it. We are done. We just have to match one. That uh, we just have to find one that uh, that gives the answer choices in this order. But you see, when they talked about when they talked about least to greatest, we already knew it had to start with decaffeinated coffee because that's the one with the smallest range. That's the one with the smallest range. And if you look at the answer choice, answer choices right away, right from the very beginning, right from the very beginning, we knew. Right from the very beginning, we knew that the answers cannot be D or answers cannot be answers cannot be C, D, or E because they don't start with decaffeinated coffee. It has to start with decaffeinated, co decaffeinated coffee because that's the one with the smallest range. It's either A or B. So let's just look at take a look at it and see which one it is. A says de decaffeinated coffee, obviously. They both say decaffeinated coffee, and then we have the next one says instant coffee, which is right here. So so far they both match A and B. The next one, the third one under answer choice A says percolated coffee. There you go. It's not percolated. The third one is brewed coffee. Percolated coffee has the longest range. So the answer is not A. It is B. The one that matches is B. Answer is B. Let me quickly confirm in the answer key number twenty. Number 20, answer is B. I'm looking at the answer choices on page number 373. Not only the answer is B, but I just found out that 60% of people found it, got it right, which means 40% missed it. The answer is B, and the performance there was 60%. Two-fifths of the people missed it. Do you understand? Not five-fifths like last time. Two-fifths, 40%. What did you do with my cap? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.